Thin fuel technology can solve many problems mankind faces. This technology is environmentally friendly because it generates near zero pollutants and it is ready for commercial deployment. Hello, I'm Dr. Han Jung, and I am the principal investigator at Korea Institute of Energy Research. I'm going to introduce you the technology to produce synthetic oil from coal, biomass, or waste plastics. I'm going to take you to my pilot plant and explain the technology in more detail. Shall we go? Fisher trap technology producing thin fuel is very difficult to license. That is uh, the reason why we have spent the last 12 years to develop technology to the pilot scale, and now we are ready to build commercial plants. Our fisher trap technology can convert not only coal, but also waste plastics into oil. The pre-treated feed material is fed to this gas fire. When the feed is mixed with oxygen at high temperatures, it is converted to carbon monoxide and hydrogen, and the ash is removed as slags. Next step is liquefaction. The dark brown powder in this bottle is the fissure trap catalyst. This catalyst converts carbon monoxide and hydrogen into oil. This ion catalyst that we developed at my institute is high in activity stable more than 1,000 hours and physically very strong. We manufacture the catalyst by the catalyst company according to our own recipe. Each time we order 500 kilograms and we run the pilot reactor using the mass-produced catalyst. When combining this ion catalyst with the slurry bubble color reactor, gases with various compositions can be fed to the reactor directly. This feature and others can lower the investment cost significantly. Carbon monoxide and hydrogen gases bubble through the reactor filled with catalysts suspended in the oil, and the liquefaction reaction takes place. The liquefaction reaction produces additional oil in the reactor. Product oils are separated as wax, heavy oil, and light oil. This pilot scale slurry reactor can produce 15 barrels of oil per day. The dimension is 36 cm in diameter and 22 meters long. This is a very tall reactor. If we want to scale up the reactor to 200 barrels per day for commercial waste plastic liquefaction plant, we only need to increase the diameter to 130 cm and leave the length same. Our pilot scale fissure trap process has a higher productivity in terms of both the catalyst and the reactor volume than we have another advantage of changing the product portfolio. For example, product can be mostly wax or mostly oil by changing the reaction temperature. This feature of all oil production can be very good for small scale biomass to liquids or waste to liquids plants. The unreacted gas from the reactor is burned in the gas engine to produce additional electricity. The engine exhaust gas has almost zero contaminant and the whole liquefaction process is very environmentally friendly. How do you like the tour of my plant? I am so glad to introduce you a liquefaction technology that recycles waste materials to oil with almost no contaminant to the environment. I would like to build thin fuel plants uh, using my technology. Thank you.